This is the setup for sonar. What everybody been looking for. And I'm going to show you this. And I'm going to make it simple. As teaching a baby. Okay. First of all. I'm going to start by. Uh, you turn off the device. And you press the uh, select button. While turning the power on, you hold down the power. You hold down this while turning the power on. And and this is what you're gonna get. You turn that knob to let's say MC. That stands for Mackie Control. Let me get it focused here. Okay. And that's turn that to USB. And you know, set your string setting to what you want. And after you select that, and, th and you do both of them like that, uh, you know, you turn that off and turn it on. Make sure you wire these uh, to the computer to the USB separate to the computer. Don't hook them, route them to each other because uh, the computer wouldn't see this one. Uh, why this one was hooked up? So I hooked up both of them, and so the computer can see both of them. And um, you click select, and it's saved. Now turn it off. Now, now that it's saved, turn it off. Turn it back on. And I'm going to close this out and open it back up so I can start from scratch showing y'all how to set this thing up here. Okay. Give it a second. We're going to get it booted up here. Get this strain that's showing better. Okay, that's sonar booting up. Okay, let's just go with the first song that's on the board. Okay. Now, well, you notice mine already set up from 1 through 16. Uh, okay. Now, after you go up here, go up here to Options, select that, select MIDI, and select X-Touch, and select X-Touch Extender. But if you don't have an X-Touch Extender, then uh, just select X-Touch in each one of those slots. And nothing else should be checked while doing this and click OK once you get that set up um, you can go back and wire this over to this one because the computer had already seen it now it's already programmed and uh, to the computer where the computer know it's there and you connect it to, t to this one you connect it to this one you know like they said wired it up wired up then you go in control. You go into options again and go down to control surface. Go over here, click this, that's gonna pop up, and then you click select Mackey control and select X touch for the first one, like I had set it up. And then you get that set up in there. Make sure that's checked and make sure those checked and all that good stuff. And then the second one, if you're going to set the second one up, you do the same same way except you use XT because the computer will not see it uh, if you use Mackey Control, but use XT. Okay. And after you get that set up, you click close on that that's pretty that's pretty much done now after you do do that you go where you you know you control thing set up and you have to set these up on on tool on the toolbars but go to there that little symbol there 
and click that and this is gonna pop up and use my settings the ones I have set up now um, if it don't say that I don't ch check it check it and on this you set that up how I want that's just this see when I click that backwards and forward just that and then when I click it back over there it just changed that that's all that is okay and to get the layout to get the layout after you change you know that the bus and change that to bus and change that to thing to get your meters and stuff to working and check that all that and make sure that they say the same thing as mine which you'll learn what that is the functions function keys those just quick keys uh, to go right here what you want to you know a function you just want to do real fast or get to real fast uh, I'll go back to now you go to configure layout press that and then you'll see it say press again when done now you're going back down to your X touch which both of them will probably be saying 1 through 8 you go on the one that that's the next that's next to it the first knob you set it to whatever knob you want it to start at uh, let's say that one end at 8 you want this one to begin at 9 let me focus this thing you want it to begin at 9 now you got that set up you go in there go back up there after you got that set then you press let me press it again and it didn't configure the layout and then the layout will look like this. And remind you, you will not have to do this. Uh, you will not have to mess with this if you use this alone. If you use this alone, you will not have to mess with that. But if you're using that standard, you're going to have to make that extra change and then after you do after you get your settings the way you want it you go up here click save and then click OK and X out and you should be set up everything should be working your jog wheel and from this see and from that from track 9 track Now I'm going to uncheck them while y'all looking at them. And there we go. And we take it and you can show you what we can do with that. You When you hit that button. It